ready. All right, Atlanta's always the test dummy for these new apps and all the type of shit. And the reason why is because there's a lot of there, a lot of black people there. So they can try try all types of shit. All sorts of these tech experiments and shit. All of them be going down in Atlanta, especially when Atlanta has a, a budding technology industry going right now. All right, so here we go. It says uh, Waymo and Uber are teaming up to bring self-driving cars to Atlanta in early 2025 using Waymo's all-electric vehicles on the Uber app. Get ready soon. Your Uber might show up without a driver. This, and now 2025 is three months away, okay? 2025 is three months away. So shout out to if you in Atlanta, which I know a lot of you niggas are. Uh, just know you might order Uber and a fucking ghost. Uh, a go a, a self driving. Let me see if there's a video. Uh, just so just so you know how crazy this shit about to be. All right, and these self driving cars. I don't even know if they're all the way safe yet, but they coming. You can't stop. But they are definitely. Let's see what this uh. Let's see what this this video is talking about. So self driving Uber on a pull up. Mm. I know gig drivers gonna be mad as. Sh it's time now for our trend. Francisco last week, and she actually took a ride for the first time, and she said in the beginning she was very very nervous just didn't know whether or not yeah. to trust it but then she quickly got used to it which i thought was so yeah. interesting because i think so many people when they first see it like you're talking about it's a little bit jarring because you've never yeah that's great they finna they finna price out the uber driver they finna self-driving trucks coming next self-driving trucks are coming next nigga they're going to be they're taking everybody out of the business they're they trying to make transportation automated but let me put it like this um Despite this AI, because AI is already here, what I find is that this could be this could this could go either way. All right, we got a lot of people who do not like AI. AI to me, I said this on earlier streams. It could be a bubble. There's a lot of people who call these companies. They're tired of getting robots and and being told, "Oh, wait on this line, oh, please." Auto they're tired of automation. People want to talk to real people, so there's going to be a huge battle. In the future, because there's a lot of people who don't even who would never get into a self-driving car, but there's some people who will as well. Never seen anything like it before, but those who I've talked to that have actually been inside of these cars has said it's actually a very pleasant experience. So I think just going based off of that, I think many people who have been hesitant maybe to get into these driverless cars really just shows the opportunity there for that and how quickly this could potentially grow as they do expand the cities that they are able to uh, test this out in. Yeah, 100%. I'm fascinated to see how long it takes them to get to New York. Uh, but interestingly, I want to pull up some commentary from Uber CEO who was speaking at the Goldman conference earlier this week in F SF saying during peak times, you could have a hybrid network. How does bitch ugly and cute at the same time? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand it. That's partially autonomous and partially manned. That way we can bring it to scale all over the world. And they think it's a reason why a lot of autonomous players are choosing to work with. Damn, damn. They, and a stock price jumped up after that. Uber, including the leading players. So interesting that uh, Dara is anticipating a little bit of a combination, a hybrid model where you see some manned uh, vehicles and some that are uh, self-driving moving forward as a way to kind of expand there. Yeah, and also just to put this a little bit more in context, there was an analysis from Bernstein done saying that as of May of this year, when was 50,000 weekly paid rides made up about about 2% of the ride sharing usage, that has actually since doubled. It's paid wow. robo taxi trips to 100,000 a week, the company announced, so that really puts mm. Okay, so there y'all have it, man. We got electric cars, they finna be a normal thing. They said early 2025, nigga, that is three months away. <laughs> that is no time, but we're slowly moving towards the Jetsons. Uh, but they are trying to automate the world uh, but I do think it's going to be, it's not going to be push button like people say it's going to be. All right, you're going to have a lot of people who want to, yeah, shout out to Damon in the chat. He says, when I get a robot, I hang up. It's people, it's a lot of people who don't fuck with it, but a lot of people who do fuck with it. So it just depends on, um, it's just going to be, it's just going to, it's, it's, the future's coming. The future's already here, actually. So you see AI uh, is definitely uh, doing their thing. They don't give a, they don't give a, all right, one more business thing to